All right, how's it going? Let's take a look at uh, evaluating an integral using the definition. So first we need to take a look at this right here. It says if we can integrate f on a to b, then the integral of f of x dx from a to b is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of the summation of i equals 1 to n of f of x sub i times delta x, where delta x is b minus a over n, and the b and the a, that's your uh, limits on your integral, and x sub i is equal to a plus i times delta x, and a, that's the lower limit of your integral. And then we also need this, we need to know what the, what the sum of i, i squared, and i cubed is as i goes from 1 to n. And this is what each of them are. I'm not going to read through those. So I've got, in this video, we'll do an example, and the, the lower limit on the integral will be 0. And then I'll have another video come out and check it out where the lower limit on the integral will not be zero. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we've got. All right, so let's take a look at our problem. We've got the integral zero to two of four x minus x cubed dx. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to find delta x and x sub i. So remember, delta x is equal to b minus a over n, which in this case, b is 2 and a is 0. So that's going to be 2 minus 0 over n, which equals 2 over n. Then we need to find x sub i. Well, remember, x sub i is a plus i times delta x. So in our problem, a is 0, and delta x is 2 over n, so that's 2i over n. All right. So now let's just evaluate the integral. So this, let me change color, so this is the limit as n goes to infinity of the summation i equals 1 to n, and that's going to be f of x sub i, so that's f of 2i over n times delta x, and delta x is 2 over n. All right, so all we have to do now is take the 2i over n and plug that in for x right here. And so this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity times the sum of i equals 1 to n, and that is going to be 4 times 2i over n minus 2i over n cubed. And then that is times delta x, which is 2 over n. All right, so that gives us the limit as n goes to infinity sum i equals 1 to n. And so let's, let's see what we get when we kind of simplify this in here a little bit. That's going to be 8i over n minus 8i cubed over n cubed times 2 over n. All right. So I just multiplied the 4 and the 2, and then I cubed this. Now I'm going to multiply each term by the 2 over n. So that's going to be the limit as n goes to infinity. Sum i equals 1 to n. And that's going to be, let's see, when we multiply that, that's going to be 16i over n squared minus 16i cubed over n to the fourth. All right, so this next step that I write is not 
not really necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and write it because I think it might be easier for you to see what's going on. So we got the limit as n goes to infinity, sum i equals 1 to n. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write this as 16 over n squared times i. I'm just going to separate the i from the fraction. And the same thing with the i cubed. So that's 16 over n to the fourth i cubed. All right. So now all we have to do is replace i with what it equals and i cubed with what it equals. So if you remember, there's i is n times n plus 1 over 2, and i cubed is n times n plus 1 over 2, and then all of that squared. All right. So that's going to be the limit as n goes to infinity, sum i equals 1 to n. And then that's going to be 16 over n squared times n times n plus 1 over 2 minus, and then I've got 16 over n to the fourth, and that's going to be times n times n plus 1 over 2, and then all of that squared. All right. So now... Let's do a little more rewriting, okay? So this is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity, sum i equals 1 to n. All right, so 2 goes into 16, that's going to give us 8 times, and that's going to be n times n plus 1 over n squared, Okay. So all I did is I took the n squared and moved it up underneath the n times n plus 1. And then that's going to be minus, and that's going to be 8. So I'm going to move the 2 up here. 16 divided by 2 is 8. And then I'm going to move the n to the 4th in here. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I misspoke. It's not, two, it's not 16 divided by 2. It's 16 divided by 2 squared. So the 16, that's going to be 2 squared is 4. So that's going to give me 16 divided by 4 is 4. All right. Times. Now let's move the n to the fourth underneath here. But remember, this right here is squared. So that's n times n plus 1. And that's squared. And I'm going to move the n to the fourth underneath there. All right. All right. So now we're ready to evaluate this limit. So now I'm going to take the limit of each term here. So this is going to be eight times. Now, when I take the limit of this, that's just one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write this out and then I'll explain where the one came from. And then that's going to be minus four times. And then when I take the limit of this, as n goes to infinity, remember that, n's going to infinity, that is 1 also. All right, so if you, if you remember from back, back when you were taking limits, if I, if I multiply this out, that's n squared, right, plus n. See, that would give me n squared plus n over n squared. But remember, when you're doing limits as they go to infinity, all you care about is the largest powers. And then, see, those cancel out into 1. And then the same thing here. See, if I multiply this out, that's going to be n squared plus n. But remember, all of that squared. And that's actually what n squared plus n times n squared plus n. And if I fold this out, I will get an n to the fourth and then some other terms. But the n to the fourth is the largest exponent, and it's over this n to the fourth. These cancel out, and that will be 1 also. And so that's how I get 1 for that limit there. All right, and so then my solution is just 4. So that limit's 4. All right, so I hope that video helped. Check out the other video. I'll do it where the, the lower limit's not zero. It's one. So give me a like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other videos, and thanks for watching.